Hello, boys, girls, and MBs, and welcome back to the judgiest place on the internet. My name is Josh. My name is Rick. My name is Christian. And we are the, the Judgies. Don't make a comment about my super cool glasses. I have a migraine. We Ooh. are. We offered to him have him take a nap and don't make a comment about him, Josh. Baby, about it. You're probably making it up anyway. Those glasses make it look like you don't have a migraine at all. Thanks, bud. Uh, it's uh, fuck. Let me think. Uh, God, I had it before. It's the need girl that we need, girl. (laughs) It's the go piss girl that don't miss girl. She's a Detroit girl, not a Beloit girl. It's Rachel's special guest in the stewed. In the stewed. I'm so excited to be in the stewed. I have a question for you, Josh. Yes. Did you just ad lib that on the spot? Were you trying to go back to my last poem? I believe so it's you the still s- had that memorized. I believe it's the I memorized it, yeah. Okay. Once a thing once something's up here, it's freaking locked in. You missed the oh, part yeah, about Josh? how I play Pikmin Go. You missed that Fuck. part. Or Pikmin Bloom. I literally combined Pokemon and Pikmin. Sorry, Nintendo. Fuck, what was the This is embarrassing. I don't know. This is Fuck. so embarrassing. Well, hey. Oh, no, don't worry. It's your migraine. It's the migraine. It's the migraine talking. Once it's in here, 90% of it stays in here. Christian's favorite color? One of them. Say it. How did you know? <laughs> How did you know? Uh, Erica, favorite color. What is it? Quick. My favorite color is yellow. Mine. It's maroon. Oh, green. Saluki maroon, a Saluki maroon. We we do love till I die. I, One, I bleed white and maroon. I don't think you should bleed white. Probably not. You should go get that checked out. I think that's a different bodily fluid. <laughs> it's just seeping out of me, kinda. I got an issue <laughs> of the prostate variety. I'm so virile. <laughs> All right, that's that's, an, that's quite enough. I think actually. Um, I'm wearing a hat. It is signed by the Piss Baby Meetup goers. We'll talk about it next episode. Sorry. Shit fucking happens. Shit happens. We're all sick. Josh is trying to super spread us right now. Yeah, it's a sinus thing. Yeah. He invited me into his home just to try to take me out. Yeah. He was like, I'm Sounds sick. About right. Get a new bit, as, girl. I'm done. As soon as, <laughs> as soon as Lizzo started responding to your shit, I was like, we gotta, we gotta knock over. him down a peg. We gotta nip, nip this in the bud. No, I can't be too cool. I do think it's fun that I am now one step removed from being in a Lizzo video and one step removed from being in a Sneeko video. Mm. Okay. And I would much rather be in a Lizzo video than a Sneeko <laughs> video. Yeah. Uh, fuck Sneeko. Oh, shit. We're I just gonna, don't we're know just, who that is. Yeah, it's fine. I feel like he aligns with all a lot of our Instagram commenters. Fuck you guys, too. <laughs> I'm going to say it right here. I'm coming in hot. I don't like our Instagram commenters. The people following us, love right. ya. All, all 27,000. The people coming back seven days in a row to fight in the comments, I don't like you probably. <laughs> Unless you're defending us. No, you probably aren't. You, you know what I've are. been doing lately with both Instagram comments and TikTok comments is the apps auto filter comments if they detect like bullying or something like that. And when I see somebody's going to be a troll, I don't just block them right away. I let them argue with themselves in the comment filter for a while. I literally let them tire themselves out. And then when they're about to get to like the peak of their argument, that's when I block them. Okay, you're malicious about it. I am a little bit petty. I I like that. Can I I ask what are common arguments in in your videos? They'll go on like big tangents explaining either why like multi-part comment tangents about like why something i posted is stupid or like why a comment somebody made was stupid like most recently it happened in a video where well i stitched lizzo lizzo's in on the joke she's commented on my videos more than once now we're not mutuals we're we're, lizzo yes we're not we're not (laughs) mutuals but you do comment on my videos which i appreciate when we cut this (laughs) when we cut this out on for a tiktok and it gets three thousand views you know lizzo's gonna be one of them (laughs) But she comments on my stuff and somehow somebody interpreted my in video my video to be I was insulting Lizzo. I was throwing shade at Lizzo, which I would never. We are both bad bitches from Detroit that play the flute. We gotta stick together. I would never diss Lizzo in that way. Um 
And I, I don't know why they thought I was dissing Lizzo, but they were insistent that I was. And they were, like, commenting people to, like, she's throwing shade. No, don't believe her. She's dissing Lizzo. And I'm like, who are you? Where are you from? And then their comments started showing up in the filter. <laughs> and I let them tire themselves out. And then they got the block. <laughs> Just yeah. dox yourself immediately. Let me <laughs> let me hunt you down for sport. And now the real reason we got you on, what's up with the beef with Lizzo? What's going on there? <laughs> that was Christian's alt. <laughs> I didn't know Lizzo was from Detroit. I only know the uh, Minnesota connection. She there. was not, okay, well, she was born somewhere else, moved to Detroit for a significant amount of time, and then moved like to Minnesota weeks. and, like, graduated from high school in Minnesota. Okay. But I'm pretty sure her childhood was from Detroit, because when she opened the last tour she did, her opening date was a quote-unquote hometown show in that's pretty Detroit. cool. Detroit. And you went? I didn't go. I found out about it the day after it, which I was bummed about. You know, so. that's just a marketing scheme, right? Every town is her hometown. Every town's her hometown. Omnipresent Lizzo. She's Mrs. Sure. Home's just kind of where the heart's at, so. Yeah. Go ahead, Joshua. She's Mrs. Worldwide. Married, <laughs> married to the game. <laughs> Dolly. We love you, Lizzo. <laughs> um, What's that folky band? Oh, Fleet Foxes. No, no, no. Greta, Greta Van Fleet. Uh, no. Also for we're not just sure. doing word association Big, with Fleet. Big, <laughs> Big Crow Medicine Show. Bl no. Bl Florence well, they and the Machine. They did a show. They did like small town hometown shows. Metallica. <laughs> no. I wish. <laughs> I wish I knew the answer for you. A Metallica? No. Fuck. Oh my freaking God. They. Weezer? Like, little Lion Man is one of their songs. Oh, Mumford, uh, and and Sons. Sons. Mumford and Sons. Mumford and Sons. They did like a small hometown tour. They did do and that. And they only did towns of like less than 20,000 people. I love that actually. And they, the the closest they got to us, which was still like 45 minutes away from us, but uh, was Classic the weekend that we moved to Dick's college. Skin. Oh, fine. Dixon, where uh, Ronald Reagan is from. Yeah, home mm. of uh, Little Iron Man. Little Iron Man? Lion, Lion Man. Lion. Lying. How about you have any kind of knowledge about Mumford and Sons, Josh? Don't even come on the podcast if you don't have a little bit of knowledge about Mumford and Sons. Get I don't know it. anything about Mumford and oh Sons. Oh, my God. You well, don't like the show, sun anymore. They did a show in Dixon, Illinois. Yeah. Interesting. The sun's anti-vax or something. Interesting. Mumford might be okay. I didn't look into him too much. Interesting. Okay, anyway, what do we do on this podcast, Joshua? <laughs> we don't just learn... Lizzo and Mumford and Son oh, Lore. <laughs> we also. What do I say? We also go, <laughs> go online, online and we find and silly little, little stories, stories and we laugh at them and we judge them. And sometimes we bring on special guest Ratchlia X. I was waiting until yep. you were done drinking oh, until I was to done give you sipping. a. Yeah, that way we can cut to you on a nice frame. And sometimes Christian is the one who finds the stories. And don't talk about my glasses. All right, first story come to us right off of the reflection of Josh's glasses. Am I the That'd asshole? It'd be really funny if your cut was just <laughs> zoomed in, <laughs> cropped out this. <laughs> I should say we also have a full studio audience. We have a live scene. audience this we time. Do. I would like to say thank you, Aurora, for if you're listening, you can't see it. If you're watching, this is incredible. I love you, Aurora. Thank you so much. It's she Malibu. brewed this shit. Malibu and pineapple juice. First story of the night coming straight to us from Am I the Asshole? Woo. Oop. I won't leave you hanging. I love my wife like that. Maybe. maybe Josh, how about I be a little quicker? I maybe, know you got a migraine. Maybe a migraine? <laughs> right, let's go right past that. Oh, fuck. This is embarrassing. <laughs> maybe. Maybe if we say whoopee for Am I the Asshole? Because it's a whoopee cushion. <laughs> Is there anything there? No. All right. Am I the asshole for yes. telling my fiance that he needs to pick a new best man? Okay. Ooh. My fiance, Kevin, 28 oh, male. Need a new husband. Yeah, Kevin's a really mm. bad name. It's a bad luck of the draw on that one. Have we ever met a Kevin we liked? Uh, I can't even think of a famous Kevin that seems chill. Costner. He was okay in Uncut Gems. Neither of those no. people. He was okay in Uncut Gems. Kevin Durant was in Uncut yeah. Gems? Yeah. Oh. How about Kev you watch the movie? <laughs> it's kind of my news. I have a migraine. I can't watch movies right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're my playing mind games on his migraine. This is fucked up. This is actually bullying now. Hang on, your mic's fucked. I fixed it. I fixed it. I heard it too. Okay. I just have to grip my mic really hard. <laughs> it's going to bring. It's gonna flare up my tennis elbow, Josh, but it's okay. 
It's going to be podcasted or elbow in this situation, but it's okay. Do you want the stand? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> My fiance, Kevin, 28 male, and I, 30 female, had intent, uh, initially planned to get married a few years ago. But due to the fact that the world is falling apart and we postponed it until things calmed down a bit. And our families felt safe to hold a big event. We've now set a date for this coming August. And as we get closer, more and more thoughts keep coming to me about how it should go. My biggest issue, fuck, my biggest issue is that Kevin's best man is no longer his best man and is now his best woman. Oh, okay. 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 Kevin and Amy, male to female, transition, 26, um, have been friends for a little over a decade now. And when they first met up until two years ago, when our wedding was supposed to happen, Amy identified as a man. Kevin and Amy have always been very close, almost sibling-like with their relationship. And Kevin being kicked out when by his mo- from his mom at the age of 17 had met Amy at work shortly thereafter. She's been very close with him, and he's told me multiple times that she is the closest thing that he has to family. Initially, Amy planned to not come out to Kevin until after the wedding. But after finding out that the wedding was going to be delayed, she came out to him. So, not, it's not important, but what Amy was out to other people? Before that? Potentially. Yeah, maybe. I don't think they'd talk about it. They never bring it up. It just seems weird to post, like, to, like, prevent it from the spotlight. I just feel like that's the writer not understanding it, because why would that happen? You know what I mean? It could be. Possibly. Um, 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 didn't come out till after the wedding, but it got delayed, so she came out to him. Without... Excuse me. Excuse me, you listeners, I burped, but I burped off the mic, don't worry. <laughs> Erica, you're going to smell it. Rachel, I'm sorry if you smell it. Without consulting me, Kevin told that told her that he was fine with all of that and that she was uh, at a stage where she would like to wear a dress to our wedding uh, when it happened. Kevin said that he would help her find a dress that matched the colors that he had for the groomsmen. Aw, that's very reasonable. That's sweet. Yeah, it's very nice. Kevin's a good friend. Kevin yeah, sounds like a great. A I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm against all odds. Y- maybe you know, we were a little harsh on Kevin to begin with. First, That's good very, Kevin. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, you'd help find and her address. Can I say too, Amy? Also, a bad name. I think this is these are the rule, the uh, exceptions to the rule. These are the exceptions to the rule. Real quick, five names that we like for people. Uh, God, Christian, Erica. Josh is up there. Gene, Gene. Gene. <laughs> Uh, Theodore. Rufus. Theodore's. <laughs> say it. We want to hear the audience's opinion on Theodore. What do you have to say? I think I it's a good one. I care about what you have to say, Aurora. Theodore's a dog name. It's, I like Theodore a lot. I like Teddy. I like Theodore. I like Teddy, Teddy too. Teddy's cute. Yes. Uh, we definitely hate the name Josh. We usually hate the name Kevin. Uh, I don't have a problem with Amy and I understand how close she is to Kevin but our wedding is largely for my very traditional family okay who gives a shit Kevin has often said that this wedding isn't that important to him and that the only reason he's doing it is because it's important to me and my family I know that my family would have a lot of issues with Amy which I'm sure would bring a lot of unwanted or outright rude attention towards her literally don't invite them yeah, just they don't have to be there. Tell them to not tell them to not be transphobic for like four for like hours. Four hours. Yeah. <laughs> That's all preferably you gotta do. Preferably for forever. <laughs> you but at for least them. for the next four hours. Yeah. For this reason, I've asked my fiance to choose someone else to be his best man. No. And no, request that Amy attend not. as just a guest now. Absolutely no, not. No, no. This Amy, is the wrong take. No. Amy's still gonna be at the wedding. Correct. Yeah. yeah. This has led to a large fight between the two of us. With Kevin threatening to cancel the wedding if Amy can't be a part of the wedding party. Good. Good. Because he wants yeah. someone there from his family in it. I'm trying to get him to understand the issue with this, uh, that this will cause, but I'm not sure that he gets it yet. But am I the asshole? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. You're absolutely the it's asshole. It's your wedding day. You should yeah. only care about what you and your partner want. 
Yeah, I'm. It, it comes across a little bit that that she's not a big fan of Amy. Yeah, it's just, it's the easy excuse of like, no, it's my family who's transphobic. That's exactly. They found an opportunity to use other people to make themselves look a little bit better and blame it on other people. But yeah. that's all coming from within you. If right. you really had a good heart about this whole thing, you would tell your family to fuck off or mm-hmm. be chill or whatever. So no. I also I feel like you can just be vague about it and be like, yeah, that's Kevin's like. Sister, like, why do they need to family know member. the entire like that's Kevin's best friend, like, yeah. or Kevin's yeah. whoever? Like, why do they need to know every single detail of Amy's life? Correct. Yeah, I just, yeah, that's how I feel like. Don't give them details, just say that that's the best, the yeah. best, uh, woman, the best person, the maid of honor. I don't know what you'd be in that situation. The best person, best, best person, yeah, best, best man, man. Yeah. really. It literally does not matter. <laughs> <laughs> and if they're going to be assholes, fuck them. I find it funny that you were like, Instagram comments, dog shit. Let's read one about trans people. Yeah. That'll one... make good <laughs> Instagram well, comments. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm, I'm a piece of shit that profits off of uh, me being angry every day. I open my phone. <laughs> And that's why I wanted. That's why I opened up the episode with saying, Instagram commenters, I fucking hate you. Most of you. The one person I gave a, a like to... Hey, you got it. You're the one that <laughs> solved the are. riddle. <laughs> you solved the riddle on that reel. You're the only one that got it. So good job on you. But the rest of you probably don't like you still. What a bad to be wife. How old is that post? Um, four days. Oh. oh. Hope they don't get married. Well, we'll we'll come back in August. We'll see how it's going. I would love we'll that. I would honestly love that, Christian. Am I going to be responsible for remembering to come back in August? You're the one who said it. Yeah, it's your episode. (sighs) Need Girl's birthday episode (gasps) follow-up on this situation in August. When's your birthday? In August, August 16th. Ooh, so you're a Leo. I am a Leo. Hell yeah. (laughs) Leo crew over here. Guess what my moon is? Leo. It's Leo. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I knew that. I could feel it. Yeah. (laughs) I'm a double Pisces. Oh. Can we tell? Well, so are you, I but the last two and not the first one, right? Uh, Didn't we do the math the other no, day? He's a cancer. He's a cancer Pisces Pisces. Yeah. He had me calculate his birth chart the other day. He, like, um, sent me his birth time. <laughs> Listen, I was interested. I needed to know. I'm all water signs. You're very watery. I'm just glad that you're not a sag man. No, Aurora's a sag girl, though. <laughs> Ooh. Oh no. Mm, saggy. I'm sag to hear about that. Yeah. Wet and saggy. <laughs> nice. That sucks. <laughs> Is Sagittarius a water sign or a fire sign? No, Throw that's, that a, back that's a fire sign. I don't know anything that's about anything. That's a fire anything. sign. You don't Is know there, anything this, about anything. You don't know shit about dick. You don't know dick about shit. Is there yeah, only. You said mind grain earlier, and that was embarrassing <laughs> for you. <laughs> Is there only fire and water signs, or is there other elemental yeah, signs? Earth, air, earth and air. Okay, I only hear about fire and water. And signs. then there yeah. is the Avatar too, but yes, there's not like the master only of one. all four. Mm-hmm. Mm. Master of mind green. <laughs> and next story, before we get too deep into this one, <laughs> bullying certain members on the cast, uh, they have s- sensitive feelings. I can't why handle sh- it. Why shorten to the cast and not the pod? We've never said the cast. Yes, you absolutely <laughs> have, and I said I didn't like it. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Just so you know. Am I the has <laughs> Christian, I do need to, I do need everybody to understand the context of Christian walking into my house and saying, I'm on tonight. I'm ready. <laughs> and then hitting us with Mind grain and I'm, then mispronouncing I, asshole, uh, the most I'm, commonly I'm, said word. Am I the asshole? <laughs> Christian, do you need a speech therapist? Yes, yes. I do. I, I've got some great news uh, for you. You can help me out. I put this out onto the podcast at one point saying, do I need to go to speech therapy or do I just need to yes. figure my shit out? And somebody just said, yes, talk slower. And I don't know if that's the help I need. That's not usually the answer. You that's also how I need felt. a hearing aid. So. What? <laughs> I can hook you up with that too. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of benefits out of this the crossover right now. <laughs> Pulls out my trench coat. You need speech therapy kits. <laughs> I got hook on phonics for you right here. It's actually hooked. I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> Am I the asshole for talking? <laughs> <laughs> Live on camera, Christians going. You gotta to... be, you gotta be careful with phonics. It's a gateway. Yeah. 
Aye. you'll get hooked on it. Don't get into morphology. I don't know what that means, Ooh. and I don't want to know. Get a master's and- degree, maybe. Damn, Ooh. what a fuck. Flex. She's got Lizzo. She's got, got Detroit. Masters. She's got a master's. Name one more. She's got... Swag. She's a double Leo. <laughs> Unquestioned need Riz. We're going to be running for the next 10 minutes. Rachel, where, what are your what are your stand on the soundboard effects? I Pro love or, them. Okay. I think they're so good. Okay, so everybody who hates I them was kind of just hoping you'd pick up that the, the Scooby Doo running meant we're off nice. of that and we're back onto my spotlight. Okay. Am I the asshole for telling my friend? Am I the asshole for telling my friend she was undermining my work by having extravagant centerpieces for the bridal table at her wedding? Compared to the guest tables, which I made the centerpieces for. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go on. I'm getting a mind grain. <laughs> I, 26 female, can make really nice floral arrangements. It's not really a business, but I've made centerpieces and arrangements for my family and friends and their events. Last year, let's call her Sadie, uh, 23 female, contacted me saying that she likes my work and if I can make some centerpieces for the guest tables at her wedding. Sadie is a close friend of my cousin, and while I've seen her around and have occasionally talked to her, we're not that close of friends or anything. I said sure, and we worked out what she wanted, uh, and then she ended up inviting me to the wedding as well. So the wedding was last week. I was really happy with how all the centerpieces turned out and thought that they looked great. The bridal table, however, had these really extravagant centerpieces that were stunning. And I obviously didn't make them, so I asked Sadie, who did that one for you? Hmm. Hmm. She said that she made those ones herself, (laughs) but she wouldn't have time to make them for uh, the centerpieces for all the tables. So that's why she ended up asking me. I'll be honest, I felt like I was betrayed because her centerpieces were just so much nicer than mine and people would be talking about those ones and not the ones on the guest tables. Nobody fucking talks Nobody, about centerpieces. <laughs> Nobody gives Nobody a shit. talks about centerpieces. How dare the bride <laughs> make her own nice centerpiece for oh, her own table? <laughs> you want the head table to look the nicest? The one oh, that's in all the photos? Yeah. You want to look photo ready? How can I make somebody else's wedding that's a friend of my cousin about me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is she a Leo? <laughs> oh my God, her name is I'm a Leo wedding uh, centerpiece. Wow. <laughs> TA. Throwaway. She did that's, say at the beginning that's of the throwaway. A little, throwaway. That's a little, Reddit, little Reddit joke there. Tough crowd. Tough crowd. <laughs> no, it's for all the Reddit heads in the in the audience. Where's my Reddit heads at? Hey, leave a, leave a, leave a review if you're a Reddit head out there in the audience. <laughs> Apple.com slash judges you know, or less something. Less than 2% of the population are Reddit heads naturally. Boo. Wow. They're a dying breed. I honestly felt like I was kind of betrayed by this because her centerpieces are so much nicer than mine. I already read this paragraph. Sadie said, she wasn't trying to undermine, undermine me or anything and that this was what they thought went with the decor. I said that she should have been upfront about the bridal table or at least had the same centerpieces as the guest tables. She started getting pissed and said there's nothing to be upfront about and that I'm overstepping. Correct. Can you believe the gall on this lady? That is correct. Massive gall. So am I the asshole? I'm just kind of pissed she was trying to overshadow my work, but she was annoyed at me for texting her that. It's not about your work at somebody else's wedding. It's about their wedding and what they want their wedding to be like. I like how they opened up with, like, I'm not that good at it. And then somebody upstages them. And they're like, well, I am the best. And I'm pissed that you're better than me. Yeah. Also, I mean, I feel that way a lot. fucking expensive. Mm-hmm. They are. They're very expensive. As someone that's had a wedding, mm-hmm. yeah. Flex. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, yeah, we afforded flowers. Wow. Yeah, they were magnificent. Actually, the, the place that we did get our flowers from was very affordable, and I was very happy with it. And we did a local business. Yeah, support your local businesses. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can't all be in that tax bracket. Yeah, that's... They were pretty cheap. Needs don't pay the bills. They only cost three ninety eight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did the person writing the story say that they got paid to do the centerpieces? I don't believe so. I didn't see. Any... Fuck. I didn't see anywhere in there. 
They got invited to the wedding, though, so they got a they free meal. They got a free yeah. meal out of it. I just don't understand what her fucking problem is. Did they supply is. her I, yeah. with the flower? Like this? Yeah. Like, I don't. I, I couldn't fathom a world where I would be upset in this person's situation. Right? Unless, yeah. unless like, the bridal party's, like, centerpiece is spelled out, like, fuck you, Josh. And, like, fuck you, the other tables, people yeah. who made mm-hmm. the centerpieces. Right. Have you ever gone to back to look at our wedding photos? That's what it said. Oh, it was on the undersides of all the petals. You had to yeah. l- really lift them up and look for them. Mm-hmm. It's one of those things where it's like if you look at it from this angle, you can't read it. But then once you get to the right angle, it's like, "Fuck you, Josh." Yeah, mm-hmm. eat shit. Hope you die. When I when I wasn't looking, the big wall behind me had big arrows pointing to it and said, "Big old stupid doo doo head." Yeah, and then when mm-hmm. I turned around, it would turn off. We had to pay yeah. a lot of money yeah. to really get did. that. Well, you saved set. money on the flowers. We did. We right. put money into the pyrotechnics. Yeah, yeah we had a. We had to not shop local for that. Yeah. We went big box. <laughs> we went big box with that. <laughs> what are we thinking? We're at 25 minutes. Did we oh, hit him with fuck an early this. Let's go to a break. Okay. <laughs> we'll see you on the other side of this oh, break. Hopefully, Josh time. feels better or something because he's kind of bringing down the whole I'm going to give Josh an ice pick lobotomy during the break. Oh, hell and he'll yeah. come back mind greenless. Welcome back. This side of the podcast. Four weeks have gone by. None, Four. Of, us, none of us have moved. I've moved. Josh's lobotomy is healing nicely. I've moved on from goofing up and saying things like mind grain and whatever the other thing. I fucked As up at my asshole. Yeah. Well, it's, it's okay. the back half of the podcast, and we know what that means. Circle jerk. I'm sorry, did I cut you off? Yeah, I was I just going to say that I love you. Oh, I love you. Just like I love the circle, George. We do this every week yeah, on the back half of the podcast. We go away from Reddit stories a little bit. We do our little <laughs> old thing. All right. So if you're not aware, little old Joshy Poo has a second pod, and it's the Fridge Pod, friend request from Josh and Joe, and it's pretty good. Never heard of it. It's okay. We all definitely haven't been it's to really good. ever before. It's really good unless they get bigger than us, and then it's not good anymore. We Erica was on it. it. Yeah, that episode's the best one. Christian was on two bonus episodes. Yeah. Wow. You got to pay for me. Isn't that so funny how everybody else on this couch was on it? Yeah. I wonder if the person who says Circle Dirge has something to say about that. Well. I'm calling you out, Joe. <laughs> Put your shit together. The fun part <laughs> is that we could all have a podcast, and we got an email from Anchor, which That's is a podcast hosting quality. platform by Spotify. And it's a podcast name and theme generator. Ooh. So I say we just hit push on this little web app, uh, and we see if you guys could just. What do you think of the podcast? Could you guys shake it? Uh, yeah, All right. I bet I could host any podcast. You could. You you really got a face podcast for it. that would bang. So we're gonna generate. That would bang. We're gonna generate a podcast here, and then we're just gonna have our thoughts on it. I guess. Uh, yeah. Let's okay. Surf up. Hate it. Bunker down. Two professionally chill bros from Venice Beach show you how doomsday prepping doesn't have to be so doomy. This sounds so... (laughs) This sounds like the quickest pipeline to the alt-right I've ever heard of. Yes. (laughs) What? Who is this for? Who's pro- how are you professionally chill? I'm sorry. If I'm doing doomsday prep, I don't want Venice Beach bros telling me. I want like a 60-year-old Marine vet who's seen some shit telling me how to do it. <laughs> That lives okay. in like fucking Idaho, rural Idaho. Yeah. yeah, a man who's never washed his asshole. That's who mm-hmm. I want. Joshua, those men specifically wash their assholes. Yeah, <laughs> probably true. That's probably true. Before, before you prep me for doomsday, um, can you give me your wash history? <laughs> if it's not crusty, I don't want to be in Mind your bunker. If I take a peek, oh no, I'm not prepping with you. <laughs> so is that a pass on that one? Yeah, I think Un- it's a pass. Unfortunately, we're not picking them up on the Judges Podcast no. Network. Okay, this one might be a, a Rachel Rick spinoff oh. here. Oh, deep space dietary restrictions. <laughs> okay, I love so, it. Okay, so okay. what do we think the podcast is going to be about? It's going to be about if you end up in space, like, you know how they have to eat, like, freeze-dried ice cream and bullshit. Okay. What if you're like me and you've got food sensitivities? You what dots. do I bring to space? Right. So it's 
Two of the nerdiest nerds you'll ever meet dive into sci-fi films headfirst and answer the most useless questions they can ask themselves. About about I space or hate what? this. Really good title, really bad premise. I got okay. anchor. You really got to work on this AI. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is, is fun. I like good. this. Keep deep, going. But like Deep Space died. Like I feel like that has legs. That's a good. That does have potential. There's like a couple different ways we could spin that. Yeah. yeah. The description was just off. Yeah. Do you like uh, fad diets okay. and space? <laughs> We got you. We got you. This one might be another. Atkins are on the Andromeda. Rick X Rachel. Okay. Atkins are on the Andromeda. <laughs> I'm on one tonight. Like Keto Pod on... requests from Rick and Rach. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Keto on Krypton. <laughs> Nailed it. No, didn't hit. This is another Rick X Rach pod potential. Bad takes on bad takes. Yeah. That one. I've never had a bad take in my life. It's not that our takes are bad, Don't it's that we're calling Instagram out men for section. having bad takes. Oh, no, it's okay. no, you guys would have bad takes oh. on other people's bad takes. Oh. I need to know. No, I'm never I've that. never been wrong in my so life. So let's say so let's say somebody in this room, we won't name names, mm -hmm. puts out a tweet that says she ever on my she ever measers on my Scrooge until I bah humbug. <laughs> let's just say somebody unnames it. Tweets it. That's a good tweet. Mm. No, it's not. You guys no. could then be like, "Balls are stored in the cum was better." There's a bad <laughs> take on a bad is, take. That's a bad there take. Perfect. That is your example. <laughs> but the actual description is a meta podcast discussing the podcast industry. <laughs> All right. Wow. <laughs> Who would listen to that? Us? No. I'm a <laughs> podcaster's podcaster. No. Okay. Okay. This one's for me. I get it. I get another. How about one we get one to me, Josh? I get another one as a. I get another one as a treat. Make an AI. Why do called... you have to make it all about you as a man? There's two women sitting on this couch. Exactly. More and about us. This actually. is misogynistic for you to make things about you, Josh. <laughs> well, this is called being tall isn't even that cool. Oh. <laughs> a podcast by short royalty for short royalty that does that destigmatizes life and dating for the four or five foot something community. Josh, how tall no, are you? I'm five nine. Okay. I'm gentleman's five nine. Okay. A gentleman's <laughs> five nine. Okay. The average, the U.S. male average. How tall are you on your tippy tippy toes? <laughs> um, I don't stand on my tippy tippy toes because I have a broken pinky toe, famously. Wow. I don't. Do you have to use a pinky toe to stand on your tippy toes? I feel like normally you oh, stand on. I'm sorry. I have ballerina training, and everybody knows that they put it all pushed together into one toe. And if okay. you don't have your pinky toe in there, it's all off. I mean, yeah. I don't think I stood on mine, to be fair. I'm just being honest. Men ballerina do. Yeah, uh, they don't go on implied. point. That's true. It's so weird because I literally, Heather is over here in the audience. Literally today, I had a conversation with Heather about male ballerinas. And how they're just ballerinos. fucking shredded. I literally, that's what I said. <laughs> I'm like, what do you call a male ballerina? I said, is that's it a ballerino? A single one. Just a ballerino <laughs> is one individual ballerinas. Yeah. I am. I, I'm going to look that up later because I feel like as a ballerina, I should know. We did we, look it up. Oh, and in Italy, they are called ballerinos. Interesting. Okay. We just call it, I think they're just, just called dancers. <laughs> dancers. In, I don't remember. Just a nondescript. <laughs> just, they don't even get ballet. <laughs> silly little ballet guys. Ballet dancers. They just... <laughs> the ballerinas and the silly little guys up there with them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, cheerleaders, it's cheerleaders and male cheerleaders. And male so. cheerleaders. Um, I feel like cheerleaders is... Pretty like leaders of cheer. A gendered. It's yeah. really not though. Sure. By people who talk about it. Like yeah. if you say, "Hey, cheerleaders are coming in," and five dudes come in, you're gonna be like, "Okay, I wasn't expecting that." Yeah. Sure. Yeah, that's. A great if I'm not go, saying it's fair, I'm yeah. saying that's what. If yeah. I go watch Bring It On Three, the one with Hayden Panettiere. Shit. Ooh. If I go watch Bring It On Four, I don't think there was. Why would you? And there was. Say one. <laughs> Because there's not male cheerleaders and bring it on one, Josh. Yes, there, yeah, there is. I'm going to kill myself again. <laughs> Heather looked like she was just going to jump up out of the chair from the audience. I'm just saying. <laughs> Listeners at home, Heather's very passionate about this one. <laughs> Shout out to my male cheerleader cousin. If you're listening to this, you're probably not. This Shout is, out you. Okay, this is crazy. This is a Rick Aurora special. Ooh. Fish Somnia. Ooh. Okay. A marine biologist hosted show, Erica's One True Calling, imagining what fish and other aquatic creatures are thinking about to help you fall asleep. I would listen to that. 
it, it's just like a, it's like a, a visual or like an audio play of just like what what Nemo's up to these days. They're dreaming of fussy. <laughs> That's true. I'm really oh my god! What? I was not ready for fussy. Have you ever considered not talking? Actually, <laughs> I know I just I've... told you I could help you talk better, but what if I helped you talk? Let me. Instead? I've considered it for about 29 years. <laughs> We, we folks, we finally did it. We finally got a Christian podcast. Thank you. We love to hear this. How in the frick do airplanes work? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, like I could host oh this podcast. And that's follow along on one simpleton's quest to find out how everyday Simple. marvels work. Simpleton! I do love this premise. I don't like the use of simpleton. <laughs> I also think it's funny. I don't know. Maybe I'm... Think of this wrong. Calling an airplane an everyday marvel is interesting. I don't use an airplane every work? day. I don't use it every day. I, I I I hold more issue with every day than marvel. They get used every day. They do get used. Every yeah, day. Yeah, but like, when I think of an everyday marvel, I'm thinking, how come banana turned brown? You know what I mean? Air. That's not a marvel. <laughs> it's air. Or is it oxygen? Well, what's in air? But I'm thinking it. about things Nitrogen. like why do they call yeah. it an oven when you <laughs> oven the, of the cold the hot, food? Yeah. yeah. Right. Hot, don't take my bit from me, Josh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Josh, <laughs> take her down a peg. <laughs> this one is for Erica because famously Erica has, uh, I don't know everybody's super great in this room. I'm going to petition the largest amount of FOMO in this room. Oh, I do have a lot of FOMO. I was really there and it wasn't that fun. I read the title wrong before I read it out loud. People who were actually alive and in attendance at famous concerts, parties, and events tell us their sad, mundane, or deeply unsatisfying stories to help us stop romanticizing the past so, and cure our crippling FOMO. That actually, what? That could be a Let very cool podcast. To a podcast to feel bad. Yeah, I went to Woodstock '69, and audio design was terrible. Everybody I was, was just um, fucking. I couldn't hear over the screams. That actually sounds like it could be an okay podcast, but I feel like the production and like to find enough guests. Yeah. Christian. Insane. We're going to bleep this title. This is your next podcast. It's called a. It's a podcast about a little bit of this. I'm fucking a bit pissed. Of that. That's my <laughs> podcast name already. Is it? That's what you were. Uh, well, I wanted to go with a little about a lot. And guess what? There's about a fucking thousand of them. Who would have thought that simple phrase has been used a million fucking Maybe times? Maybe not a simpleton. I'm going to kill myself a third time, Josh. Can you please stop making that joke? I, I will, don't like it. I will stop making that joke Thank for you. this episode. The, okay, so <laughs> this is this is uh, it's controversial. A Rachel and Josh podcast. Ooh. And the title's good, the description's off, but it's, you're telling me horses power this car? <laughs> Joe, you're out of a job. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, great premise of just, it's just, hey, we're going to ask questions about things. But the thing is, a car podcast by and for people who don't know anything about cars but appreciate them. I don't appreciate cars. What are they? I, a I, modern... don't, know, I don't know shit about them. What are they? An everyday Marvel? <laughs> right, Some one, would argue that. One last one. This is this is a rare, this is a rare four person podcast. Everybody here is wow. going to just. We're all going to take this energy, okay, mm -hmm. okay and go okay, into okay. a new okay. one. It's uh -huh. going to be called. I'm going to kiss the, kiss the president on the cheek. <laughs> And it's four law school grads answer your questions about what you can and can't do. I <laughs> I don't think I would last a day in law school, let alone grad. Well, we can Q8. fake it. We can just say that we're law school grads. Like Erica, mm -hmm. like you went to med school and you you no. came you dropped out the day before the finals because Incorrect. you didn't want to embarrass everybody else. They don't Absolutely have to know not. what my master's degree is in. Master of law. Yeah. Legally, you do have to tell. It's kind of like if you ask somebody if they're a cop, they have to tell you. If somebody asks you what your master degree is in, you have to tell them. I'm a master of disguise. Turtle, turtle. <laughs> That's the turtle we were saving earlier by not using plastic <laughs> straws. Holy shit. You, nobody else was here for nobody that joke. Nobody else was there for that, but it was good. Including Aurora. She was in the bathroom. You're but... triggering my FOMO. <laughs> You didn't want to watch him loo on Malnati's until he, I don't know how to finish that. Until he pizza. -ed. She went deep dish on my loo until I malnadied. There you go. Yeah. Boo. Wait, we Lou. can't all tweet bangers. Hold on. Hold on. Oh my God. There was some stank to that one. <laughs> <laughs> and I missed. That was like if you had an apple on top of your head and I was shooting an arrow. Can I that, get my carrot back so I can hit you again? That might have fixed your mind grain, though. <laughs> <laughs> I would have railed it back into place. I think that's how uh, how headaches work. Yeah. 
I'm just looking for an audio. It wasn't downloaded properly. Wow. Oh, can I help me carry it back? Once per half. I didn't even hit him with it. It went over his head. Them's the oh, rules, it's a baby. Video. Does one of you have a crochet hook in the audience and crochet a new carrot really quickly? Just super fast. Snappy. How? Sweater. Your sweater is orange. Can you just ball that up real quick? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> how time consuming is crocheting? Very. Like how long do we think that carrot took? I don't know, at least a day. Hours. Probably an evening. Yeah. yeah. I feel like crochet is like faster than knitting though. Mm-hmm. I've been saying that my whole life. Yeah. Yeah. Crochet faster than knitting. I'm gonna get that on a shirt. <laughs> You're gonna get it cross stitched. It's a third form of Jesus Christ, the crowd is terrible tonight. Crowd. Holy it's fuck. Even worse. This was in front of a live audience, and he's Hot. bombing, guys. He brought the audience into <laughs> humble Josh. Um, I so badly like have so many like hobbies that I want to take up, but because I think in my brain, I'm like, oh, I'm home with the baby. I've yeah. got all this time. I can pick up all these hobbies. But law school I don't just takes up time. Law school is really taking it just it takes out of so you. much yeah. time, yeah. Babies are a lot of work. Legally, yeah. they are, yeah. He he's like needs constant fucking attention it's unless like he's Christian. napping, like... but he contact naps, which means I have to hold him the whole time. I don't have to, but he sleeps better if I do. But anyway. Contact nap seems like yeah. You somebody's have... sleeping next to you and you touch him and you're like, ah, I'm snoozing. <laughs> <laughs> he does that I'm, get, I'm getting a real contact oh. nap over here. <laughs> <laughs> So really, I have no time for hobbies. You don't have him like delivering papers or running a lemonade stand. We've been or trying. Yeah, yeah. he He's... did. He is starting to sit up on his own though, so we're almost there. You're almost there. That's like number one thing you need for sit, your own lemonade it goes stand. Sit up, ride a bike around the block to throw papers out of the back of, and then yeah. comes walking. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, and this capitalist machine we live in—that's what they want from us. Rise and grind, Aww. baby. Literally. Mm-hmm. L- liter- literally we do oh. listener submitted sound submissions before our listener submitted story so if you have one that you would like us to play go ahead go to judgespot at gmail.com send a little <laughs> sound submission this one is from a little listener named teddy how about that teddy. wow thank you hello teddy. this whole so episode's teddy. been planned hi teddy i made a song and it's very good it samples this lovely pod and stuff here you go we'll be the judge of that Yep, here we go. How do I stop getting mad when people use they, them pronouns? Die. Sorry. That rocks so fucking hard. I loved that. That was a banger. Teddy, that slap. One Absolute note, banger. One note, Teddy. Not enough Josh. Editor, uh, oh, put in Josh. Dancing Bug from Adventure Time. Just the amount, just the right amount of Josh. Interesting. Which was zero. Interesting. Was correct. First time, live studio audience doesn't know what was played. I wish you guys could have heard. (laughs) They're not hearing our headphones. Yeah, it was so good. It went very hard. (laughs) It was really good. Real hard. I bet they all have FOMO right now. I bet you guys have so So much FOMO. How about you guys start a podcast about it? (laughs) 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 I sat in the live audience of the podcast and it wasn't that funny. Yikes. That's the title. Little little wordy of a title, guys. Were they on the title? Fridge Pod or just Judges? As Judges. Ooh. 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 When will I learn to turn my phone off battery saving mode when I record the episode? I thought that was uh, the title of your next story. <laughs> <laughs> by by uh, anonymous <laughs> submitter CK. This comes in from Sam. Hello, Sam. Hi, Hi Sam. judges. Let me start by saying how much I, third female, love the podcast and your overall dynamic. Thank the you. way Christian goofs up words all the time. And it says very funny stuff, but sometimes the live audience doesn't laugh. I can't believe they wrote that. It's like they have a camera in here. That's something. crazy. Creepy. You guys give me something to look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> Aurora said there are two cameras in here. Sam, are you inside our wall? There are three cameras in here. You guys give me something to look forward to every Monday. You're I've considered welcome. sending this story in for a long time, and hopefully I'll make it on an episode. Congratulations. You did it. Well, 
maybe something bad happens in the next couple seconds and they don't get their story read. Don't say that. Maybe. Um, maybe. Tornado. <laughs> when I was in college, local community college, I was single and interested in dating. I would pass this guy, let's call him Brian, Ugh. on campus every day and thought he was kind of cute. So one day I decided to find him on Facebook and I introduced myself. Hang on. This seems very familiar. There's no way we read this. Did I? Maybe I just read this in the email. When's it from? January 18th. Interesting. I probably just read it. Sorry. Wow. We messaged each other for a few days and seemed to hit it off. Conversation was great, and Brian seemed sweet, but a little shy. I can relate, Brian. He suggested that we hang out at his house after classes one day, which I was on board for. Winky face. Did we did we not read this? I this did does you, not sound familiar. Did you to steal me. this from my Josh to read folder? Listener submission folder. Okay. I'm flabbergasted. I've read this email and I don't know why I wouldn't have moved. You read it, it when this you This is a good it. email. This is a very good It was story. a good email, yeah. So That's I'm just why I'm confused reading why yeah. I didn't steal it. It only came out a few it. days ago, though. Well, I sort of manage all the emails. Okay. Yeah, for the, for the most part, yeah. <laughs> At the time, my car was getting some work done, and a friend was giving me rides to campus. I mentioned this to Brian, and he told me that he could give me a ride to his place and then back home. So that you can ride him. Mm. Mm. I thought this was nice of him and agreed. After my class, I told my friend who gave me a ride that I was going to go hang out with Brian and headed off to meet up with him. I was particularly excited because this would be the first time we would officially meet in person. Mm. I found him, said hi, gave him a hug, and asked, you ready to go? He sheepishly looked at the ground and said, well, actually, my dad is going to pick us up. Mm. Merp. Sexy. Mm. I was a little thrown off. In retrospect, this should have been red flag number one. But I ignored it, thinking maybe the family just has one car that they all share. We're not classist on this podcast. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe they're just poor. We were waiting for his dad to come pick us up, and I was trying really hard to make conversation with him. With was, the dad or with Brian? With Brian. Okay. Okay. Brian said he had to go take a leak, so I was there sitting in the car with his dad trying to make conversation. <laughs> Does, really? No. Oh. They're, wait, they're still waiting on the dad to show up. It was so difficult. He would not respond to anything I was saying, and it was basically as if I was talking to myself, which I was surprised about since we had such good back and forth over social media. I was trying to talk to him about food or music or something when he suddenly piped up out of nowhere and says, just so you know, my house has a lot of stuff in it. Mm. I paused and shrugged, giggled and said, as long as you're not a hoarder or something, in a very light tone. Mm. Dun, dun, dun. That's okay. foreshadowing, folks. Okay. He didn't respond. Red flag number two. I just continued to look at the ground while I tried desperately to talk about something, anything. Eventually, his dad pulled up. Brian got in the front seat and left me to sit in the back. That makes sense. His dad, yeah, it would be worse sitting in the front seat because then you're stuck talking to the dad. I guess the other know, option is less than Brian. Two people getting in the back. Yeah, but Which I guess also it, be awkward. Chauffeur. Maybe this is a self-report. I guess I just figured the dad showing to pick them up had a pickup truck and it was a small back seat, but that was never <laughs> mentioned. In my <laughs> brain, this was a pickup yeah. truck situation. With sure. The, and it wasn't even a. It was a half cab, so the seats turned like sideways. Like the sideways oh, ones. The uh, worst. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about putting the seatbelt on. It's kind of, I know it's kind of tight back there. You'll just sort of, mm. if we get into an accident. <laughs> Your neck snapped if we get into an accident. Right. You better hope it's a T-bone. His dad turns around and says, well, you must be Sam. And I respond, yeah, hi. And he okay. looks me dead in the eye and says, that's a boy's name. Red it's flag, a joke. Uh, Come red on. Red flag number three. A little bit of a gaff. Uh, Not a funny one. Then we drive off. Get a better joke. I should mention at this time, I never explicitly told anyone where I was going. Hell, I didn't even know exactly where I was going. I just knew I was going to Brian's house. Then you shouldn't be going. Why are you going? And I didn't have any addresses or anything. Do you what? share oh the God. question? Do you share your location with somebody else? Because if you're not, you should. Especially if you're going to hang out with men you've all never met before. Perfect oh opportunity. Share he, it with Brian. He's super cool on no. Facebook. No, no, oh no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Judging you. 
We're judging you. Like, Some hey, people do crazy thing to you get. Should late. start a podcast about judging people or something. Yo, that's what a really we, good idea. That would be a really good I'm idea. I'm so good at it too. I'm so good at judging people. You, you are kind of have a gift for it. Yeah, yeah. I do. Put that in the AI generator. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> I'm not in charge of the AI. <laughs> Let me be clear. Can you update the AI? If I if I ran Anchor, I would not be doing this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you would. Don't. Yes, lie. I would. I don't lie. Mm. so we're driving and driving and driving in the middle of rural nowhere i'm staring out the window trying to try triangulate my location we pass farms and the occasional gas station my phone has no service on it and i'm starting to get uneasy i'm stressed everyone in the car is riding along silently Oh, I'm so stressed I'm out. Stressed. Oh After about God. 40 minutes of driving, we, 40 minutes. we pull up to a huge white farmhouse. Oh it has a big wraparound porch, which is Beautiful. piled high with random stuff. I oh, love no. wraparound porches. If your shit is so overflowed from the house that it's onto the porch, that's bad. It's what getting harder. Guys, were, I don't want to spoil it, but they were cleaning out the insides and it was all on the porch. So the insides was decluttered. They're having a yard sale. Yeah. That's sweet. Yeah. Yeah, really I do for... like going through people's stuff. Sam, I'm so scared for you right now. I'm terrified. This sounds Spoiler. like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. She survived. She wrote the email. That's a great point. That is really true. That's a great <laughs> that point. I forgot about so that. so true. Hi, my daughter's She's name currently... is Sam. She loved your podcast. <laughs> She's currently <laughs> typing this to us while this is happening. We're getting no serve yeah. us, Is she the asshole for dying in this house? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Porsche is piled high with random stuff. It's giving hoarder vibes. Brian gets out of the car and heads off for the house, not saying a word to me. Red I flag. I follow him inside and hit and am hit with the smell of cat piss. <gasps> oh. oh, yeah. He says, you want to go up to my room? Nope. Nope. Actually, can I get a ride back to campus? I forgot. I absolutely Something. do not. But I nod anyway. We weave our way through piles of stuff and get up to his room. I'm so turned off at this point. I'm trying so hard to not touch anything. Mm -hmm. And I'm barely entering his room. And he just stands there in the center of it, close to his bed, and sort of just lingers there for a moment. Like if he's hoping I'm still down for... Eh, eh, wink. Eh, mm. Woohoo. Mm. Wink. <laughs> I'm not. No. Nor Neither of us be. are saying anything until... He points around the corner. Oh god, this is insane. That I can't see and he says, "Do you want to see my gum wall?" Uh, You're what I say? Uh, oh, my gum wall. He repeats with a bit of amusement to his voice. Oh, he gets to show I it off. I crane my neck around the 90 degree corner and to my horrifying realization I see an entire bedroom wall covered from baseboard to ceiling with chewed gum. Oh my uh, I stare in a weird mix of awe and disgust before I eventually say, oh, I forgot I have to go to work. Perfect out. Perfect you timing. You nailed it. Wow. Yeah. Perfect timing. You couldn't have said that earlier. <laughs> you know, though, if she didn't know, Sam, if you did not know it was 40 minutes away, you could have thought he lived five minutes from campus and y'all yeah. were just going to do a quickie Fair enough. before you had to go to work. Yeah. And now you're factoring in the 40 minute drive ba there yeah. and yeah. the 40 minute drive back, back. plus whatever time. Plus, it's mm. now like a three hour Get excursion. Stuck in traffic. You very well could have to go to work. Plus Absolutely. the three years of, of your life that got taken off when you see a gum wall. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, got, I got work in three years. I got yeah. <laughs> Mixed with the cat urine smell. Yeah. Yeah. Like Can the asbestos still get you if it's behind a layer of gum? Yes. Stuck to the wall? Yeah. So can the lead paint, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Nobody breathe in my house. <laughs> <laughs> I exit the room, leave his house, and walk to the nearest gas station. They let me use their phone to call my sister, and I have to beg her for a ride home. I think it's insane that she was just able to leave. And, like, they, yeah, and they like didn't question maybe she it. just didn't, like, include that part. But the fact that she was just able to leave and they weren't, like, where are you going? We'll, vi we'll drive you back. Yeah. yeah. I end up getting home safely and proceeded to block Brian on all social media platforms. Yeah. Back at campus, he never tried to find me, talk to me. Or explain anything. That's wonderful. That's good. It's as if we never spoke or never knew each other, which I'm happy about. Yeah. But I will never, ever, ever, ever forget the monstrosity that is the gum wall. I hope that you enjoy my story. 
I did. Please feel free to judge me. I definitely deserve it for this one, LOL. Yep. yep. Keep up the good work. Love, Sam. I'm judging you for A, not telling somebody where you're going, mm -hmm. B, not knowing where you're going, and C, trusting a man. We don't trust men on this podcast. Especially not from Facebook. I do have a couple thoughts. This was like 2011. Is when this happened. So like, doesn't se matter. Sending locations weren't wasn't as easy. Incorrect. I shared. My you can still in let somebody know where you're going. Yes, yes, yes. I'm just saying. You know? We have to remember this. She was... said, "I'm going to Brian's house." Yeah, well, there's only one like, Brian. If I had Brian, it's a way that's insane. Now, this is what I'll say: is that you said they went to a local community college, right? Which is a lot of people who are like straight out of high school. You know, they're trying to save money going to college. And so at first I'm like, okay, maybe Brian is in a situation where he's forced to live with his hoarder parents because he mentions the fact that his dad came to pick him up. And sometimes you hear stories about people who are forced to live with their hoard hoarder parents. And it's yeah. a very yeah. sad situation. So at first I'm like feeling bad for Brian. I'm like, he just wants to have a girl over, feel normal. And he's got these hoarder parents. But then he had the gum wall. Yeah. yeah. Um. And he's part of the problem, and all my sympathy for Brian just like went. I, out. I feel like I just read a story in our email. I, I didn't save it, so. But they were talking about how they were dating somebody who grew up in a hoarder house situation, mm -hmm. and when they first started dating, everything was super clean, and now that they live together, it's like that tendency is reverted back into that person too. It's like, like slowly like, building. Yeah. It's like spreading out through their stuff and and being messy, which like I mean. I mean, when you're raised that way, like, I'm sure it's hard to kick that. Mm -hmm. I yes. feel like it's it's one or the other. Like, when you grow up in that situation, it's either going to be, this is how life is and this is what I'm going to do. Yeah. Or it's, that is how that was. Right. And I will never let that be me right. again. Like, once I've gained my independence, that is not my life. That's how I was with my parents. Like, my parents were smokers. Mm -hmm. And I've literally never had anything with nicotine in it because yeah. of that. But yeah, we know people, you're kind of a loser. Some people, you shut the fuck up, <laughs> Eric. Christian, cooler. you want to tell about all the ciggies you fucking rip? I'm blasting ciggies. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Rob. I can I tell that story really quick? Sure. There's also a very funny cigarette story of Christian that I would like to tell. Okay, so you, you can go first one. if you'd like. It, I don't have a Christian cigarette story. I'm feeling FOMO. Right it's now. very okay. short. Can you text me a story about you with cigarettes real quick? So yeah. I have something to share. <laughs> Uh, but we were as when we lived together, you were still in school, yeah. and somebody came over and what had cigarettes on him and accidentally dropped one in your bedroom. As Andrew, mm -hmm. and then she came in and was like, "What the fuck is this?" And it yep. was Christian just trying to be like, "It's my friend's cigarette yep. in my bedroom." <laughs> it wasn't like, Andrew's it, cigarette. He gave it to me. He's like, which is true, but it's such a hard thing to try to sell. Yeah. I was so like, pissed. In my personal bedroom, right next to the side of the bed where I sleep, Correct. there is a cigarette on the yeah. floor. <laughs> Andrew's like, you want to come smoke with me? And I went outside to talk to him and I didn't, I just held on to the cigarette because he was drunk and I was like, yeah, and I'm just like holding on to a cigarette and then I, yeah, like had it in my it's pocket. It's the equivalent of when your friend holds your hair back while you're throwing up drunk. <laughs> you got to have your homie hold your cigarette I so you don't burn I was so yourself. pissed. I look cool with them in my hand. Listen, so, that's the worst part about cigs is they look so they fucking look so cool. They look so fucking cool. When we, we, Aurora and I went to a goth concert in Chicago and we go outside and everybody's wearing leather jackets and blasting cigs and we're just like, fuck. <laughs> I wish I had a nicotine addiction. The fact You that guys you can... look very cool that day though. We did look You cool. did. The fact that you can describe it as blasting a cig, it's yeah. already like a cool phrase. Yeah. No, no. It's cool. Smoke Do not smoke. Don't no smoke. Lame. We should say, Judgy's very Don't anti. Smoke. Smoking is bad. The speech therapist says smoking will hurt your vocal folds, and then you'll start talking like Christian. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Who wants? Got his ass. So Has in that college, been my problem? <laughs> in college, we were at a bar called Pinch, which R.I.P. Pinch is no longer. I'm convinced that that's what happened. The pinch closing was the downfall of the world. Everybody fever dreamed their college bar. I mean. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. But like Pinch closed on New Year's Eve of 2020, 2019. So into 2020. And that then the world went to no, shit. No, that caused it. You're absolutely correct. Yeah, yes. It was the domino. That was it. So we're at, we're at Pinch Penny Pub. Okay. And. We live in this like apartment. Sorry, we live in this apartment like right next to this bar, so we just get shit faced and then walk home. Right? It's perfect. Classic. Great the college experience. Best fucking location for As this apartment. And the rent was cheap. Oh, yeah. To walk past a taco place on the way home, so it's like I that's how like slaps too. Yeah. It did fucking slap. Some Donny tea after the bars close. Oh, 
Anyway, Don Taco. Anyway. <laughs> Don, Donnie T is Don Taco, if you didn't know For those less informed, it's Don Taco. Really lean into her wine mom persona right now. <laughs> For those not I'm from drunk. vaguely north central Illinois. No. Southern, 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 Illinois. southern, southern, Illinois. southern Illinois. Southern Illinois. This is not vague, very southern Illinois. Very, this is southern very Illinois. much Carbondale. Carbondale. And we're at this bar. Our roommate, Rob, he, he gets me separated from, like, we're just, you know, vibing. We're having fun off in our own little worlds. And Rob's like, hey, you want to smoke a cigarette? I was like, I was plastered. And I was like, yeah, because I can totally smoke a I'm cool. It I'm does cool. look I'm pretty cool. cool. I'll blast a cig. Let me grab my leather jacket. I can totally <laughs> smoke a cigarette. So I smoked a cigarette with Rob, right? Don't really remember anything about that. But I remember doing it. Then later that night, we get home. I don't know if you guys don't, you guys don't, listeners, you don't get this because you're on you're listening to a podcast where it's christian's job to talk who has fomo now but he doesn't fucking talk ever i save it all for you guys he really does (laughs) so in college we're laying in our bed and christian just will not shut the fuck up he is so drunk and he's so talkative and he's just like rambling on and on and on and on and on and on and he's like eric i gotta tell you a secret i was like oh a secret oh my god i love secrets I can't keep secrets, but I, I love secrets. Friend. And Christian's like, oh, I smoked a cigarette with Rob. I'm so sorry. And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I smoked a cigarette with Rob. And he looked at me. He's like, are you kidding? I swear to God, I smoked a cigarette with Rob. We both smoked a cigarette with Rob secretly You're and separately. Influence. Oh, my God. And then we came back and told each other. And I thought that was so cute. That is actually really cute. That's so cute, you guys right? Can, the cigarettes don't count when they're with Rob. That's, That's true. true. It does not count. Rob is a horrible... I fucking love Rob. Yeah, terrible influence. Terrible <laughs> influence. I only know him from your wedding. First person to get Erica to drink. First, first person to get Erica to smoke cigarette. First person to get Erica to smoke weed. Correct. All of, all of my bad kid things were with Rob. Podcast would not be what it is today without Rob. Listen. True. Rob is the best. <laughs> But also, he just texted or he just messaged me on Instagram the other day. Um, he got he's a doctor. He's an OBGYN. Oh, which is crazy to think That's about. That's crazy. That's not because that is not somebody I would have pegged to be a doctor. Co- right? <laughs> wow. He's so he is so fucking smart and he's so personable and he's a brilliant doctor. I'm s- like so happy for him. But knowing the things that he's done, like knowing all the drugs he's done, <laughs> and like all the partying, he's, well, he's in, a doctor. He's got to try him to see sure. what they do. Yeah. But it's just so funny. Like, anyway. So he messaged me and he's like, I got all the nurses on my my unit to listen to the podcast and they're obsessed. And I was like, oh, fuck we yeah, Rob. Right? Oh, we're very big with nurses. If you, if you are a nurse that works with me, don't listen. But if you're a nurse that works with Rob, keep plugging, baby. Hey, if you're friends with Dr. Rob, we fucking There's love Rob. One. Did Aurora go take a shit? Is that where she's going? Yeah. Aurora's go piss girl. I'll tell my cute story. Go piss girl. I forgot to tell her. The, <laughs> the ball game, we all understand okay, the ball, ball game. game there's an update. Please. I thought Aurora was three for 20. She thought it was her right, not my right. So she's actually 17 for 20, which is wow. very cute that she's able to identify which testicle of mine it is. Very cute. You do have a left, you have an L and an R on your nuts. <laughs> yeah. It's for me to remember. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The only tattoos I have. Is Every L- time you need to tell your right from left, you're just right, like, like, let me check. But is it, <laughs> which is it like this or? I was getting dressed earlier, and Heather walked in, and she's like, hey, you have sh- sh- dry shampoo or whatever, and then she's like, oh, Apple. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? And she kept saying Apple. I was like, what are you saying? I have an Apple tattooed on my back. I forgot. 100% you have an forgot. Apple tattoo on your back? <laughs> yeah, I sure do. Yeah. Why I, would I know that, Christian? Why aren't you looking at my wife's back, Josh? <laughs> I forgot it was there, and she was just like, yeah, you Apple. Never t- like, whenever, what? whenever tattoos come up on the podcast, you just go, yeah, I got a homsa on my ankle. And I then do have a homsa You never ankle. talk about the Apple on your back. I forget it's there. I can't see it. Christian, read it. What we haven't story. forgot is this final story for the night. Today, I fucked up by pretending my boyfriend's penis was a trumpet. <laughs> Really? That hit that hit very hard in the in the room. I need a refill for my this wine. one. No, I'm kidding, I'm fine. I got some wine. You want you want a little bit of wine? If you're you know what? If you know you're what? offering at this point, I'm not gonna say no. I kind of regret offering because it's well, no. Then listen, I don't want it. No, I'm gonna give it to you. But I let don't me top want it then. The people, I'm gonna give it to you. Okay. Rachel. The people love a drunk Ricky episode. They do love. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's interesting they turned the trunk okay. into the oh, woodwind. Shit. You woodwind should have. You were asleep, but it's you should much, have heard Aurora and I drunk voice noting each other last night. I wasn't night. asleep. I was. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about earlier. <laughs> no, last night. Aurora I also was wasn't drunk asleep on the living I was room floor, begging, and I was drunk on I was one of the my audience eyes. members' the living room floor. I was begging Aurora to bring me up medicine for my just pour the rest of it in there. The rest she's sure? like, yes. I'm on the. It's floor. not that much. The rest I feel is yours. so guilty. I got lucky all. I even shared any of it because this is my favorite. What what well, what is it? It is. It's a local winery. It's a local winery. August will, Hill Winery. Oh, I was gonna say, can I literally buy you another bottle in like an hour when we go to the store? Do they you sell it there? I will buy you another one. You don't have to. Aurora, I, mean, I told them that don't. you're really good at saying which nut it is. Mm, how, proud was your, of you. how was your pee? Was it good? Did it was you go piss? It was girl. good. I went piss girl. Was it how would you rate it on like one to ten? Four. Okay. Can I say something really out of pocket really quick? Yeah. <laughs> yes, before Christian kills us, please. <laughs> please cut this. <laughs> Who's oh, I don't just worry. Say, none of this is in. When you get an epidural when you're giving birth, you have to get uh, go piss girl. You have to get a catheter. You have to get a catheter. I've never had a catheter in my life. I have never been more aware of my urethra (laughs) than I am now. I don't think I ever want to be aware. (laughs) I didn't know. You go pee in your urethra and pee whatever. Now I know. I fucking know exactly where it is and how big it is. Well, it's the same hole, right? No. Every time I pee, I'm just like, oh, yep, there's my urethra and it's this big. Is sounding is there sounding for women, for Probably. vagina havers? I don't know. I don't know why we would need that. Cause like, I mean, you have an opening already. They couldn't have given you some like nut cream or something. No, they did uh, not. There's. Today I fucked up by pretending my boyfriend's penis was a trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> this actually happened four years ago. I was living in a hotel while I was attending secondary school for the military, and my boyfriend Ooh. was f- visiting for the weekend. He had a mild case of tinea versicolor. So he asked me to cover his chest and go back with some Solson blue. Let me look that shit what up. the fuck are you saying, Christian? Bro, I don't know what Vols- I'm... Volson blue sounds like a fucking... Fi- I think they mean sell some blue, which is like, like... I'm pretty sure that's like a men's oh. dandruff shampoo. It is a common fungal infection that causes small discolored patches of skin. It is caused by an overgrowth of yeast. It so most yeah. often affects teens and young adults, and it is not contagious. And they definitely mean Selsun Blue. It yeah. sounds like a Final Selsin Fantasy or whatever. Spell. Oh, down here, they did correct it to Selsun Blue. Okay. I happily agreed to put this on him. He got naked, and I got to rub him. After he is fully coated in Selsun Blue, I got on my knees in front of him. Naturally, he got excited, but instead of things getting sexy, I tried to be funny with it because it was painfully awkward. Sure, sure. I grabbed his dick, looked up at him, and said, Wouldn't it be funny if I played your dick like a trumpet? Wouldn't it be so silly, goofy of me? I mean, you're putting your mouth on it, so whatever. It's It's also not that funny. Just Just wait. Like a good sport, he pretended to laugh at my attempt of a joke, and I started my musical. (laughs) I moved my face closer to the head and began, began making the trumpet noise while pushing the imaginary trumpet buttons Yeah. on a shaft. Sure. This is where I really fucked up. I was having too much fun with it and got carried away and my mouth accidentally made contact. Oh no. Next thing I know, I felt an air bubble traveling through his shaft and he let out the loudest screech I've ever heard. I couldn't process. She blew into the penis. She gave him a blow job. Ah. I couldn't process what just happened as he fell onto the bed, writhing in pain. I bet you he's never been more aware of his u- urethra. Than <laughs> <laughs> it really sucks. I have to keep some of that in now. Yikes. No. I don't know how I'm going to do the muffled sound effect. We'll figure it out. I'll Google it. He was left squirming and moaning. Not good moaning either for about 10 minutes. Yeah, oh, come on. I... Listen, <laughs> there's no way it hurts that bad. I... You want me to blow into your <laughs> I I bet you it's fine. Like, come so. on, dude. I don't think it is. <laughs> like, come on. I don't think it is, Josh. You can't have blue dick. You can have blue balls. I'm pretty sure. Okay, listen. If you're going to be in the room, fucking laugh. 
<laughs> Pity laugh. Come on, Jesus Studio Christ! Is fired. <laughs> We're gonna start. There's a cover fee now. We only want the people that actually want to be here. I'm pretty sure there was a couple of fears that fell from. Oh, a couple of tears. <clears throat> Let me hold it closer. I don't have my cheaters on. Tears for fears. I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there was a couple of tears that fell from his eyes. I felt horrible. I, just, I, I thought I ruined it. this man's penis forever. And ruined if I didn't, I thought he would never let me go close to it again. <sighs> when he painfully subsided, when the pain finally subsided, I told him how sorry I was and he forgave me. We laugh at this event that just transpired and agreed that I was never allowed to play his dick as an instrument ever again. That's fair. Not You're missing out on Rusty Trambone, loser. Josh is looking over like my dick's simply built different. I, yeah, I mean, I do I do have a, a pressure release valve underneath my... I'm right on my gooch. Just like I said, I was going to gonna put on your skull earlier yeah. for your migraine. I don't know how you have enough real estate for a pressure relief valve well, on it's your a, gooch. It's, it's notoriously small. It's a pin. It's a pin-sized <laughs> copper pipe. Okay. That comes out to like the spit valve on a trombone. It's not that big. Yeah, don't need much room. He ended up marrying me just a couple of years later, so maybe the dick instrument aren't really that bad. Before we get too far away from the rusty trombone combat, she went to play taps and ended up playing craps, and that's how you get the rusty trombone. Wow, I don't get it. Boo. Oop. Whoa, Rachel Christian's liked getting it. carried away with the soundboard. <laughs> yeah, I just really don't think this would be that. In sense of a pain, Josh. Laura, I don't. We need you to. Have you take ever? We need you. We have you ever accidentally gotten like <laughs> shampoo or like body wash like in your pee hole a little bit? Yeah, and it kind of burns. It really burns. I guess I'm just built different. I don't know. Oh, I just Jesus. couldn't imagine. <laughs> I couldn't imagine getting air blown in and that like ruins my day. Hey, Josh. What? Do you think he had to <laughs> queef it out? <laughs> What goes in must come out. I really just, I, I really feel like it can't hurt that bad. Like, it's like, it's got to be designed to just push it out eventually. You know what How I mean? bad's your migraine? Okay. Hang on. <laughs> Is that what happened? <laughs> you got an air bubble stuck in your dick and now your your brain hurts. I was thinking with yeah. my dick too much and I just put the, the bubble up there. Yeah. That's why we need that pressure release. That's why we need the pressure release. I tell you. Pretty weird story, huh? Starts yeah. with fungal cream. This dude mm -hmm. thinks he's going to get a blowjob after getting <laughs> fungal cream applied. <laughs> really set in the mood. Oh my God. I don't know. If you don't think rubbing a little Selsun blue is hot, then I don't think I want to even be in your company. You think it's hot? I totally... You love rubbing the Selsun blue yep. on me. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Wherever it gets you applied, admit, I don't know where. Are you it gets admitting applied. to getting a, a fungal infection that only hits young teens and Yo. um, young males? And the stigma. And the stigma <laughs> of of this fungal infection. Sell some blue if you'd like to sponsor this podcast. <laughs> sell some blue, we would love. Judgyspot at gmail .com. We got huge sell some blue users in our <laughs> listenership. Isn't sell some blue also used for like dandruff? It's a dandruff that's, shampoo. That's what it's I like thought, a men's. Yeah. It's marketed towards men. Dandruff shampoo. Interesting. I'm pretty sure. That sounds right. It does sound right. If you enjoyed this episode and our wonderful, wonderful guest, Rachel, where can they find you at? They can find me on Twitter at... I have to double check what my Twitter is because it's different <laughs> than everything else. Everything else is at RachLeahX. Mm -hmm. TikTok, Instagram. Okay, so and it is Rachel Leah. I thought I was like just dyslexic every time Rachel I saw you. Uh, Rachel Leah X. Do you want to know something fun about me? So my parents spell my name R A C H A E L. Yeah, it is. And if you spell that backwards, the first four letters of that are L E A H, mm -hmm. which is my middle name. When Christian tagged you in the in the first episode, you. Uh, we're in on Instagram. He did spell your name wrong. Wow. He didn't spell Shocker. Rachel properly. Which, to be fair, R A E R or R A C H E L A E L is not the like. It's not typical the traditional way. spelling. Yeah. No. But my Twitter is at x Rachel x o x o. And if you don't know how to spell my name after that whole hullabaloo, that's on you, buddy. You should probably go get that. Just out. go to any one of my tweets and and the top I'm probably reply. in the replies, yeah. <laughs> yelling at him. 
But no, guys, I think I did tweet a banger because this whole episode, my phone has been going off and it has been Twitter notifications. It's probably the picture of uh, me. It's Hello? probably the picture I tweeted of Josh earlier today. Hello, Mr. Musk. Oh, yeah, I have a banger going off right now. <laughs> okay, thank you. Mr. Tweet, sorry. Speaking... If you want to see jo- what Josh looks like mid composition of tweet, my Twitter. Uh, but if you want to see our socials post composition of post, where could they do that? At? I could, I could totally tell you. It's on Twitter, on Instagram, on TikTok, on Dasher, on Prancer, on Do- Great joke! Wow, is Thank that the you. first time? Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Yeah. That's that. so good, right? Wow. It would have been great on the Christmas. I just episode. fucking thought of it. Big brain on Ricky. If only it wasn't January. Well, February when this comes out. <laughs> hey. It's fine. That's at Judgy's Pod. J U D G I E S Pod. Hit him with the dang. Do we have anything to say before we're really oh, out of here? If you want to send us a listener oh. submitted sound or a listener submitted sound story, you can send it to Judgy's Pod at gmail.com. Judgy's love you. Bye. <laughs> don't, don't comment on the glasses. I'm really self conscious about them. They're very ugly. We commented on a lot of things much. about me, Josh, that I was self conscious about. I bought them ironically. Sure. Ah. Everybody say something about Josh's glasses. They're fucking ugly and I hate them. Goodbye. <laughs> I hope Have they don't help your mind grain. Fake pit vipers. I hope every listener has a great week. Okay? I bought your these pit, before pit vipers were Your pit thing. vipers aren't even real, Josh. They're bit vipers. Bit vipers. A bit viper, isn't it? I hate this. <laughs>